Hi, thank you for agreeing to interview me. Let me introduce myself and tell you why you're interviewing me. My name is Janet Varney. I'm on The Legend of Korra. I play the character of Korra. Awesome. What was it like watching Korra grow up and evolve throughout the seasons? Um, I think it's been uh, super cool. I mean, it, I think one of the great things about the show is that it really speaks to universal problems. You know, we're in this extraordinary universe where magical powers exist, and yet people, I think, really identify with this idea of things happening to you that you're not, you don't think you're ready for, um, and uh, maybe understanding that you can't do everything by yourself. You know, those are like really universal qualities about life, and that's what's so cool about Mike and Brian is they really know how to to pull from reality to inspire, you know, fantasy. To see. And going off of that, this is, even though it's a kid's show, it is very dark at, on a lot of times. How do you uh, handle so many dark themes like uh, responsibility and, and family and even death? I love the idea that responsibility is a dark theme. Um, I mean, listen, we all got to pay our rent, am I right, everybody? Uh, no, you know, I, I think. It's hard for me to even say it's a kid show. I just don't feel that way. I feel like it's an everybody show. And I think that, you know, the fan base that we have has kind of proven that. But um, uh, I, I think it's I think it's a really special and, frankly, important show. I don't want to, you know, toot our, our horn too much, but I, I really have to give it up to Mike and Brian for that. Um, I just get to kind of be along for the ride. But I think that it's, it's great that animation can provide this for people, too, so that it's not just all goofy and fun, which I also love. But um, I think it resonates on a deeper level. And I think sometimes there's a way to get to the deeper core issues in animation and in imaginary stuff that um, may be too hard to look at in, in real life sometimes. Now, uh, book four is called Balance, and this is the final book in the Korra saga. Uh, what can fans expect uh, for the, the final season? Well, I mean, there's not really that much I can say. Um, but, uh, but I will say that... You know, I think as as those of you who have gotten the chance to watch the first episode, you know, we do have this sort of, again, separation between some of the key characters, Mako, Bolin, Korra. I think um, we're getting a real sense of what each of their individual journeys are and um, the challenges that they're going to face. I think that you'll be really satisfied with the end of, of the series. You know, what's nice about Mike and Brian and their whole process was that they knew that they wanted to make four books. So it doesn't have that feel that you get sometimes from a series that ends and you're like, whoa, whoa, wait, what? There's no wait what, you know what I mean? They're very, it's very meticulously crafted and it's just a beautiful story. At the end of book three, uh, Cora had a, a, a big event happen to her. She, she actually almost died. And then now we're jumping three years into book four. How has that uh, changed and affected Cora? Well, I think that, you know, we're seeing somebody uh, that those of us who have been through something traumatic can relate to, which is that you, on one hand, feel eager to try to kind of get yourself back up and running. But at the same time, um, it's like I think you split into two people like you one side of you goes oh I, I know I want to be this hopeful person that had this power and and you want that and then maybe there's a voice inside you too that's like Ugh, it's not worth it I can't have it anymore you know um, and so how do you push through the part of you that feels like you're not strong enough you know and there's a, a new game coming out for Legend of Korra uh, have you gotten hands on with it yeah, you know what, I haven't been able to play it as much as I would like because when we did the big video game release party um, at the Comic-Con in San Diego, we were doing so much other kind of press stuff and, and stuff that I couldn't get my hands on it. But I saw all the animation when we were, you know, recording the voices for it and um, they were so dedicated to making a series, uh, a, a video game that felt like you were kind of jumping into the series, even though it's a separate story. I think they've succeeded at that and then some. It's just the most fun game to, to, to play. It's exciting. Will we see... Uh familiar faces coming into book four well um i can definitely say because you've because this is up aired already that um we are reintroduced to Toph, which is a really big deal for for fans of uh of the avatar last airbender series so that's really exciting mm -hmm.